We're now ready to move on to definitions, which are statements used to describe the meaning of concepts. Definitions are important means of structuring knowledge, and Aristotle was probably among the first to specify the properties of a good definition. This principle is also called um, per genus uh, ad differentia and means that a concept should be defined by providing its nearest hyponym, the genus, and the differentiating properties which distinguish it from neighboring concepts. An example is the sentence seen on the slide, where cast um, as a definiendum is defined as a kind of landscape and the distinguishing properties of this landscape are that it evolves on limestone and has been eroded by dissolution, thus producing different karst features such as ridges, caves, um, towers, fissures and so on. There are different types of definitions. The most common and formalized type is the intentional definition, which specifies the necessary and sufficient conditions for a thing belonging to a specific set. Another type is the extensional definition, which lists all members belonging to a specific set. Yet other types include paraphrases, defining by specifying the relation of a concept to its opposite or to some other concept, defining by function, etc.